I have to tell you, it just gets me so excited. And I want to go on to the next one before I, I'll go off too deep on this, because they all kind of tie in together. If we understand that God will forgive and forget, if we don't try to limit God's love for us, we will find such joy in our life and such joy in repentance. So let's look at this next life affirmation from Scripture. And it says, United with Christ, I am free of guilt and condemnation. I am quick to recognize when I am not pleasing God and even quicker to repent. I receive His abundant forgiveness and I rejoice that His compassions are new every morning. Now let's take that apart line by line. United with Christ, I am free of guilt and condemnation. That comes from Romans chapter 8 verses 1 and 2. And there Paul said, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. Then our affirmation goes on to say, I am quick to recognize when I am not pleasing God and even quicker to repent. Let me pause for just a second there because this is important. The more we hide God's word in our heart, the more we speak God's word over our life, the more we see that God's word is our life, God will do something special in each one of us. You know, it is the word that brings that recognition that we aren't pleasing God. And it's interesting that when that word's in your heart, if you start to go do something that was an old practice that wasn't pleasing to the Lord, boy, I'll tell you, the Holy Spirit will bring that verse up in your mind and immediately you'll recognize that you're not pleasing God and you will find that you are very quick to repent. So let's look at this scripture that talks about recognizing and being quick to repent. This comes from Revelation chapter 3 and verses 1 through 3. And this is what the Bible says. These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God. That's the sevenfold Holy Spirit of God. And here's what Jesus said. I know your record and what you are doing. You are supposed to be alive, but in reality, you are dead. And then he counsels us and he says, rouse yourselves and keep awake and strengthen and invigorate what remains and is on the point of dying. For I have not found a thing that you have done, not any work of yours, that meets the requirements of my God or that is perfect in his sight. So he says, call to mind the lessons that you have received and heard. Continually lay them in your heart and obey them and repent. And then he goes on and he says, in case you will not rouse yourselves and keep awake and watch, I will come upon you like a thief and you will not know or suspect at what hour I come. Then the next line of our affirmation says, I receive his abundant forgiveness. Are you receiving God's forgiveness? Acts chapter 5 verses 30 and 31 is one of the scriptures that I use to support this. And that says that the God of our forefathers raised up Jesus and God exalted him to his right hand to be prince and leader and savior and deliverer. And he is our preserver in order to grant repentance 
and to bestow forgiveness and release from sins. Then 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9 says this, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Then the final part or sentence of this affirmation says that I rejoice that his compassion is new every morning. That comes from Lamentations chapter 3 verses 22 and 23. And there it says, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Oh, let's put this back together now and see what we can claim over our life as a life affirmation from God. United with Christ, I am free of guilt and condemnation. I am quick to recognize when I am not pleasing God and even quicker to repent. I receive his abundant forgiveness and I rejoice that his compassion is new every morning. When the Lord gave me this life affirmation, it was an interesting thing because what happened for me is I was speaking this over my life and suddenly he was bringing it to that point that it was real. And I was quick to recognize and quicker to repent. And I learned to receive God's forgiveness and rejoice in the joy of repentance. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's study. And then I hope you will also join us next time. We're going to be discussing how we can leave the past behind and get plugged in to God's power. May God multiply His mercy, His love, and His grace to you. And may He watch over His Word to perform it in your lives as you cooperate with Him. Please remember to spend your time making that which is most important to God the very thing that is also most important to you. Get into His Word and start exalting His Word.